welcome to you sir i now request sir to shower his blessing in form of his treasured words uh, good afternoon everybody uh, on behalf of rgpv i just congratulate uh, the chairman of the group and as well as group director puneet devedi ji for hosting this kind of webinar which is a uh, one of its first kind as far as the mp is concerned because as you are suggesting that uh, this is the first program in management as far as the pharma is concerned and that we are starting in this university uh, we also i also welcome dr pramod kumar ji sanjay sinha ji uh, vk gupta saab gd gupta saab rajput and all the uh, faculty members who are associated and are attending this particular webinar uh, i would like to start with the fact that uh, one and half year we have lost in pandemic and uh, with great learnings there in the issue of managing the pharma industry itself has come up in a big way that to internationally anybody can appreciate the aspect of management which has come up during the pandemic period wherein we were struggling with the supplies of uh, drugs without knowing the efficacy of each drug then the establishing the supply chain establishing the supply chain of uh, oxygen cylinders then ensuring bats in uh, medical then forecasting the number of likely patients uh, in a, in a city or in a country and uh, what's not every sort of problem we have suffered and therein we have felt like anything that there should be a management cadre to look into these kind of issues with which we have gone through and i will pray the god in future either we should be well prepared or that kind of time should not repeat itself but definitely the preparation is much more needed and uh, that's my personal perception that the kind of technologies which we are having as of now um, if you talk about uh, data analytics or artificial intelligence or machine learning these are kind of tools are required in each branch of study actually in fact and in pharma industry also and you can appreciate this aspect that if we were having the kind of management expertise which is really required to counter this kind of thing well equipped with the concept of ai and data analytics we could we could have dealt with this kind of problem in much more effective and uh, efficient manner because if you remember the government was always telling we have no dearth as far as the drugs are concerned we have no problem as far as the oxygen supply is concerned we have no issue with the number of beds available the problem was of logistics only wherever you were having the oxygen cylinder there the oxygen was not needed where the oxygen was needed if you were not having that oxygen and likewise so was with the drugs it means that in future also we are going to have these kind of managerial issues and the pharma industry has to deal with it and it is already i am seeing that um, in in case of corona number of vaccines are now coming up and uh, the time will tell which which particular vaccine is is being treated as a most efficient one or which finds the market global market and it is quite probable that few of the vaccine may not see even the market that kind of uh, glut situation may also occur where in every everybody is making a vaccine for corona or the drugs for the corona so it, so definitely a company which is working for some kind of medicine and everybody knows there's a lot of resources human resources in terms of uh, man hour and as well as uh, in terms of uh, the funds also millions and billions of rupees goes into these kind of uh, development and finally when you come up with a product and a product and you find that there are there are no takers for the same nothing bad and worse can be presumed or assumed in such situations it means a lot more studies are required lot more management is required lot more um interaction between academia and industry is required and i think the kind of course which you are trying to offer in, in, the, in the name of pharmaceutical management uh, may fill up that particular gap uh, and um, it may do wonder for the hospital and the pharma industry in particular that's my personal feeling but before designing the curricula and the kind of uh, teaching learning which is really required for this particular type of course 
is to be well thought of and uh, it should be discussed with the captains of the industry also because unless otherwise you equip them with the kind of expertise which is really required for becoming a successful manager in the pharma industry uh, you have to understand the problems and the requirements of uh, pharma industry itself so i am very pleased to see that uh, some industry captains are already here from certain companies and uh, they are well represented in this particular webinar and they will be in position to tell you their own requirement while designing this particular kind of management course uh, and um, i really congratulate uh, modern group of institution for thinking about this kind of program and finally they are launching this program also with the help of industry and um, this is my sincere hope that this will uh, fill up that particular gap of uh, knowledge which is really required between management and the pharma industry so thank you very much for inviting me and for inaugurating for the inauguration purpose of this webinar and i hope this will fulfill the the kind of objective with which it has been thought of so i'll be fulfilled by this particular webinar and i personally uh, give my blessings as well as uh, extend my best wishes for each and every one who so ever is uh, related or connected in organizing this particular webinar thank you very much thank you thank you very much sir thank